everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. This week on my blog, I'm featuring the Sweet Songbirds bundle from the new Stampin' Up! annual catalog. And I'm gonna show you how to make this super simple treat bag. And let me show you what's inside. I searched high and low for these. If you're one of my Facebook Live watchers, you know that I couldn't wait to find these new blueberry muffin Kit Kats. Now, when I posted, I know some of you were like, that sounds disgusting, but it's white chocolate and blueberry. It's delicious, I promise you. Um, as you can see, I've enjoyed some <laughs> of my own. Um, I found these at Walmart, by the way. Okay, so we're using, the reason why I wanted to find these is because we have a new in color called Starry Sky, as you can see here, and I am obsessed with our new in colors. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So this is a, a piece of our Starry Sky DSP from the new in color designer series paper pack. And you can make one treat bag out of every piece. So, you know, if you're having a party or something, you need little treat bags, you've got a whole pack full of paper to do it. You're gonna need um, to cut it down one piece uh, to five by six. Along the long side, you're gonna score it at one and three fourths, two and three fourths, four and a half, and five and a half. Then turn it on the short side and score it at one. Okay, so now grab your bone folder and let's burnish those lines. Now, I don't know which side I like the best. I think, well, I think it's the plaid because I love plaid, but that deep, rich, starry sky color on the polka dot is really beautiful too. Um, you'll have four choices because there's two different prints in the pack. Um, so, you know, use whichever one you like. Now I'm gonna cut off this one tiny corner right here. Okay, and I'm gonna cut this uh, edge tab, I'm gonna cut the corners off of that. And then along the bottom, you wanna just snip these score lines like that. Okay, now I think I've got some Stamp and Seal Plus left. Let's see, nope, it's run out. Okay, well we'll use Stamp and Seal. Um, Stamp and Seal Plus or Tear and Tape would probably be the best choice for your 3D projects. They're the strongest adhesive we have. Now, I put adhesive right there on that tab and I'm gonna fold it over behind the other edge. So we've got kind of a, a box, a tube. Fold in the sides, fold in the back, and then put adhesive on the remaining flap and fold that up. And that's it, so easy. And this will hold two of those. Now I'm gonna pinch it. You can pinch it so that the sides go out, but I kind of like it with the sides going in like that, okay? Now you're gonna need a hole punch. Um, and I'm just gonna punch a hole right there, okay? And then I've got some of our organdy glitter ribbon. I'm gonna cut about a six inch piece. And then I've got some of our Starry Sky metallic ribbon, cut a piece of that. And I'm gonna take the glitter organdy ribbon and put it through both holes like that. Okay, and then you wanna fold it together. And I'm gonna set my punch right there on it to hold it down. That way I can go under this and tie those two together and that punch is gonna hold them all together while I do that. Okay, so tie that and then tie a bow. Like that, and then we'll just adjust all of this. You can kind of play around with your loops to get it nice and straight. And then I like to take these and just kind of pull them apart like that. Let's get our bow. Sometimes the bow wants to flip. Whatever, whichever way it wants to go, that's fine. Ooh, and I kind of like those sticking up like that. There we go, how cute. Okay, let's make our bird. Now this is a builder punch. And if you watch my other two videos that I have, I showed you how to do this. You're gonna punch out of scrap paper and then put your bird and the wing here. Those are the two pieces we're using, the bird and the wing right there in the negative space. 
lay your block down and pick them up. Now when we stamp them in polished pink, they're going to be perfectly lined up for our punch. All right, now I'm gonna do it close to the bottom of my cardstock like that. And then we'll use our punch to punch it out. See how those lined up? Okay, now, you know, one thing I just noticed is that I didn't stamp the wing. I actually used a piece of cardstock. So let's do that, polished pink cardstock. Well, Charlie, buddy, Charlie is in here with me today. I'm sure you guys can hear him and he is just scratching away. <laughs> Doesn't he know that I'm making a video? He should know that by now. He's always in here with me. There we go. Okay, now what about the eyes? I think I'll use the closed eyes, little crescents. And we'll put those right there in memento. Now I have already cut out, let's move all of this out of the way. I have already cut out a um, starburst circle. This is from uh, the He's All That bundle, All That Dies. And I'm just gonna stamp this branch right along the bottom like that. And then the, the best stamp in this whole um, set is the little music notes. I think it's just adorable. Like he's singing a song, and I'm going to stamp those in Starry Sky right there. And we'll put our little guy perched on the branch with a dimensional. Now, I was thinking he's probably going to be up in the tree, so I've got Granny Apple Green, and I'm going to use my cloud punch to punch out. Doesn't that kind of look like the top of a tree? All right, so I'm gonna take them. One of them, we're gonna stamp our sentiment, a little note of thanks. And we'll do that in Starry Sky down here. Now I'm gonna take my two dimensionals, not two dimensional, two, like there's two. <laughs> and I'm gonna put dim uh, dimensionals right there. I'm gonna put that right on there like that. And then this one will go kind of up like that okay so he's in the tree bring over your little treat bag a couple more dimensionals and we're done look how cute now look you can see two different patterns from the same pack of paper all right now make sure you click the link here on youtube i've got two other sweet songbird projects for you over my blog as well as a free pdf that has measurements and the complete supply list all right, you guys, have a great day. Let me know if you have questions. Thanks. Bye-bye.